Right, in this webcast we're going to look at uh, frequency breakdown for different parts of speech of light and uh, go through some of the searches from activity 7. So, well let's start off with light. We just want to search for that, no matter whether it's a verb, noun, adjective, whatever. Um, of course we get 22,500 instances of this. Like it says in the unit, uh, at this stage, once we search for it, first of all, if we hover over it, you'll see what tag has been given to light here. We've got an ambiguity tag. It's not sure if it's a singular noun or an adjective. Um, here, oh, it's an adjective or a singular noun. We could go through all of these, but there's a quicker way of checking this, what, what the various frequencies are, uh, and that is frequency breakdown. So if we just go there quickly, we'll just get one f word form, because that's the only item that we searched for. However, we can look for the different the frequency breakdown of different tags, which can be really quite a useful and interesting function, information to have in fact. So when we see the word, the form light, most commonly it's been tagged as a singular noun, about half of them in fact. The next one is it's not sure if it's a singular noun or an adjective. And the third one is adjective. And various different ones down to, I think this is unclassified. <coughs> so that's a uh, frequency breakdown. We'll be talking more about this later. It is a really very useful thing. And also we can download the table and put it into a document if you want it, that kind of thing. Uh, so let's go on now to look at activity seven some of the searches we had there. The first one was banks and we wanted to search for it only as a plural noun uh, so the tag for that is NN2 don't forget the underscore, there's no space between them this should bring us up all the instances of banks which have been tagged as NN2 let's just check, yes and yes, okay good so we've got 6,292 of these and it seems that the tagging has been pretty accurate which you'd kind of expect uh, yes they all look to be correct okay let's go on to the next one can as a singular noun, so we do can underscore nn1 is for singular noun. I expect there'll be some mistakes here because can is quite a tricky word to tag. <coughs> so here we go, a can of coke, so there, that's correct. Can in the can. And here we are immediately, we have uh, a mistake made by the tagger. So this can would appear to be modal verb can rather than can the noun. So obviously different words will have different levels of accuracy. Third one search we had was for sheds as a verb. So bearing in mind we need to know which um, form of the verb it is. In this case it's v v z. So lexical verb with an s ending third person singular and uh, let's have a look. Oh, there's only 26 hits of this. Shed tears, pounds, light, that kind of thing. All seem to be pretty accurate. Yes, indeed. Okay, the next one was hard as an adverb. The adverb tag I think is AV0, that's general adverbs. And we get 1991 of these. Was stone hard. This is tagged as an adverb, I'm not sure about that. Um, some of these seem to be correct. Hard working, it's arguable. Um, 
but drove it hard yes so quite a lot of these do seem to be adverbs um, right and let's look at the last one which was to or to infinitive we need to know the specific tag for the infinitive which in fact is this to zero this will give us a lot of hits so it may take a, a couple of seconds I expect it so uh, yes okay yeah more than one and a half million hits um, which is not surprising really um, alright How, however as mentioned before if we just go back there's if we just do a search for this for the tag we'll get a few more hits let's see how many we get yes we get one thousand one million six hundred thousand in fact and the reason for this is that we also have instances where to is part of gonna or wanna which we'll eventually find actually the, the simplest way of doing this again is to do a frequency breakdown uh, of course, uh, yeah, this is an important thing to mention. If you have too many hits, you the maximum you're allowed to do is 250,000. So we need to thin it first. We'll take the maximum we're allowed. So this randomly selects 250,000 of the 1,600,000 we had. Now we can check the frequency breakdown. Again, it'll take a little while. And we'll notice here that 2, of course, is the most frequent, followed by N, but part of Gunna, I imagine. And there's a few others here too, just if we want to check that. Wanna and Gunna. And all the information is here given at the top. 